Recently in PLP, we have been learning about revolutions in steampunk. It is time for the big end of the unit project. For this project, we will have to make a machine that helps describe our revolution using metaphors. Our machine will be based off the Haitian revolution. Our inquiry question is, how does an idea drive change? Our machine is going to be a Rube Goldberg machine. A Rube Goldberg machine is a machine that makes doing a simple task more complicated. Another concept we had to include is Crane Britton's theory. His theory is that all revolutions follow four stages. The first one is the incubation stage, the second one is the moderate stage, the third one is the crisis stage, and the fourth one is the recovery stage. Another part of this project was that our machines needed to have a steampunk aspect. Steampunk is a sci-fi fantasy genre based in the early Victorian eras. It is a modernized version of that. The revolution we researched was the Haitian Revolution, which was from 1791 to 1804. To research this revolution, we made a timeline. On this timeline, we put down the most important parts of our revolution. We then took the most important parts of our revolution and made metaphors for them. The revolution started when the slaves realized they were unhappy with the life they were living and didn't think it was fair. Toussaint used to be a planter, but then he was able to get an education. With his education, he realized that he wanted to help people of color fight for their rights. The ball rolling down the ramp symbolizes Toussaint helping people of color fight for its right and leading them in the revolution. After leading the slaves to fight for their freedom, Toussaint switched over to the French side to become the commander of the French troops. This is represented by the golf ball rolling from the, the ramp with the Haitian flag to the ramp with the French flag. In 1799 to 1800, the first armed battle, which was called the War of Knives, started. This is represented by a ball rolling through knife planko. France declared freedom rights for the people of color, but only for the top class. All the other slaves still had no freedom. This is represented by the glass casing over the knives, which symbolizes the slaves still being trapped by France. The French left Haiti because of the money loss and losing the battle against the people of color. This is represented by the marbles rolling down the track. The monarchy being formed is represented by the flag with the crown on it. Finally, Haiti was formed, the slaves were freed, and they were no longer under the ruling of the French. This is represented by the full circuit of our machine. Here is a group working on our machine. There were a lot of different skills needed to make our machine, but all of our group members were very different and we were able to work together quite nicely to make the machine. We had a couple challenges on the way with parts of our machine not working and we had to edit our machine so that it worked better and there were less mistakes. It was also challenging adding a steampunk aesthetic to our machine.